In the last month, I've sent over 100,000 cold emails, and these are the top cold email tools that I recommend you use if you're going to start in cold email in 2025. There are a lot of great tools. A lot of people think that the way you do cold email is you have leads, you put them in a sanity tool, and then you put, uh, and then you just get leads right out of it. But that's actually not true. There's a lot more. So basically, you have to put your leads into some sort of filter. So you're going to need to filter them out somehow. Send. You're going to need a sending tool, obviously. Then you're going to need domains, inboxes, project management tools, CRM, calendar, and always a community. So which tools are you going to need for each and every one of these? I'm going to show you in this video. So the first tools are Instantly. Instantly, I think, is probably one of the better um the better sending tools out there is the one that I use, the one I prefer. It's a, it is a little bit more expensive of a tool. I will get, I'll give them that, but it has the best user interface. It has terrific support. And I think that even though the pricing is more than other sending tools, it really does a good job of making sure that the tool runs very smoothly and they have great support. And I think those two are, are my two most important things. So if you're looking for probably the easiest tool to use, the smoothest, the no bug you want, instantly is the is your tool to use now the other tool that a lot of people like to use is smartly i love smartly love the guys over at smartly terrific guys they're crushing it the only thing is um smartly i've just found personally for me to be more buggy and like the user interface not to be as nice now some people like it over instantly because oh, inst they say instantly is over polished smartly is cheaper um, but it's just as good of a sending tool. I would say they're the uh, number one and number two competitors. And I feel like they swap places all the time because they're constantly launching uh, new features. So those two are your best sending tools. And I recommend Instantly more. I would go with Instantly, especially if you're just be a beginner in cold email. The next tool that you're going to need is you're going to need Lead. So these are my three favorite uh, lead databases. So we have Apollo here. Apollo is basically your general, most general lead database out there. And it's the database that you need to be using or that most people use. And I recommend because it just has the most contacts, right? Um, it's not the best tool if you're trying to get hyper specific onto a niche. But if you're just getting started in cold email, it's the best tool to use as far as getting your leads. Apollo does do cold email sending. I do not recommend sending a cold email from Apollo. And the reason for that is because I do not really think that the way they set up their cold email infrastructure and sending is the correct way to do it. Um, it seems like it's just a bolt on and I've had a lot of issues with it. So I've tried it once, doesn't work as much as you would, as hopefully, hope it, it would. Database that I re really recommend is called Sassy DB. This is a, this is a very hyper-targeted list of SaaS customers customers or SaaS companies. I help SaaS companies, B2B SaaS companies. So obviously this is a really good list for me. If you go after SaaS companies as well, I would highly recommend uh, this product. I know the founder, really great guy. And I would say the best part about this is there's a there's actually a golden ticket offer. So you get the whole thing, one-time fee for the rest of your life. Super awesome deal. Um, he's not doing it for much longer. So I recommend if you want this a database for SaaS leads, reach out to that or check that out. Um, next thing is export Apollo. This is what I use to actually export Apollo. So what you do is you get a leads list from from Apollo, copy the URL, post it in here, export it to here. And the best part about this is it will actually verify the leads. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but every time you get an email, you have to make sure it's verified. So export Apollo will pull the leads and also verify the leads and only give you the leads that are good. So those are your, uh, your leads databases. The next thing is uh, Clay and Amplify. So what is Clay? Clay is basically, if you think about it, a way to enrich your data. So as you get more complex into cold email, Clay helps you write better first lines, make helps you kind of break out people um, into better subgroups, helps you enrich and find better, uh, make sure you have the correct email. It's a really great tool for anyone that's doing cold outreach. However, if you're just starting it, I wouldn't recommend using Clay because it can get a little confusing and it's obviously pricey. Amplify is a great, it's basically the only place I go if I ever need to scrape something. It's a marketplace for scraping tools, but also Amplify has their own scrapers in it. So it's something, if you're trying to scrape something, go here, search, hey, I need to scrape this. Like they have everything from website, Amazon to build your own actor. Highly recommend this if you're looking to scrape things. Um, next, we're going to have 
uh, a verification tool, which is Merif Million Verifier. This is the only verification tool I use to verify emails. So if you remember, um, you need to make sure that you're actually verifying the emails that you download from Apollo. So you can either use Export Apollo and use their built-in um, email verification, which I actually believe they use Million Verifier, or you can, if you're pulling them from anywhere else, throw them into here and verify. Remember, you need to make sure you're verifying your leads before you send. So now you have your leads. Now you need to have your sending domains. I really like GoDaddy for mailboxes. So I use GoDaddy for Outlook mailboxes. Um, a lot of people, they will go to a third-party reseller. You can get GoDaddy inboxes for a year for uh, $2. Uh, I think it's $2.50 per month, which is cheap. And it's almost, it's cheaper than resellers. And I have never had a problem with the GoDaddy, um, Outlook inboxes. So those are Outlook inboxes for two ninety nine a month. And, um, some of the best deliverability I've ever had, have had a problem with them. Pork bun. You need to make sure that you're not, that you're not using like these super cheap, like name cheap and stuff like that, um, to buy your domains. I even recommend you can buy them straight from GoDaddy. It does suck because when they renew after a year, they cost a lot of money to renew sometimes. But Pork Bun does this as well. It costs a little bit more to renew. But the only thing is you want to make sure you have a good um, provider to host the domain because otherwise you'll be stuck with an IP and it might be banned. So you got to make sure of that. Click up. For project management, I love ClickUp. ClickUp for me is probably one of the best um, tools out there. Um, this is actually my landing page here, so it's going to load. I really like it for, um, I kind of use it for a CRM slash project manager tool, but it's one of the best tools out there for that. And it, you can actually get a free account for pretty cheap, which I always love. Cal.com, this is basically where you schedule all your appointments. And then the last thing is you need ChatGPT or Claude. One or the other, I really like Claude for any type of copywriting. I just feel like it's better at thinking about those things. I'm going to put this in here, but at school, one thing I like to do is if I get leads that aren't necessarily interested in cold email, but they want to learn about cold email, I have a school a group where I talk about cold email, um, link in the description, but school community is one of the most, one of the best things you can do if you have leads that aren't interested in your service, but you can teach about your service. Free audio post-production. <laughs> by Alphonic.com.